What is good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bible with the Daily Dabba. Last time on Bible Chapter Z, we looked at Chapter 17 of Numbers, the budding of a own staff. But today, my friends, we'll be looking at Chapter 18 of Numbers. Duties of priests and Levites. The Lord said Aaron, You, your sons, and your family are to bear the responsibility for offenses connected with the sanctuary. And you and your sons alone are to bear the responsibility for offenses connected with the priesthood. Bring your fellow Levites from your ancestral tribe to join you and assist you. You, when you and your sons minister before the ten of the covenant law, they are to be responsible to you and are to perform all the duties of the tent. But they must not go near the furnishings of the sanctuary near the altar. Otherwise, both they and you will die. They are to join you and be responsible for the care of the tent of meeting or the work of the tent. And no one else may come near where you are. You are to be responsible for the care of the sanctuary of the altar, so that my wrath will not fall on the Israelites again. I myself have selected your fellow Levites from among the Israelites as a gift to you. Dedicated to the Lord to do the work at the tent of meeting, but only you and your sons may serve as priests in connection with everything at the altar inside the curtain. I I am giving you the service of the priesthood as a gift. Anyone else who comes near the sanctuary is to be put to death. Offerings for the priests and Levites. Then the Lord said to Aaron, I myself have put you in charge of the offering presented to me. All the holy offerings the Israelites gave me, I give to you and your sons as your portion, your perpetual share. You are to have part of the most holy offerings that is kept from the fire. From all these gifts, they bring me as most holy offerings, whether grain or sin or goat offerings, that part belongs to you and your sons. Eat it as something most holy. Every male shall eat it. You must regard it as holy. This is also yours. Whatever is set aside of the gifts of all the wave offerings of the Israelites, I will give you to you and your sons and daughters at a perpetual share. Everyone in your household who is ceremonially clean may eat it. I give you all the finest flour, finest olive oil, and all the finest new wine and grain they give to the Lord as the first fruits of their harvest. All the lands, first fruits that they bring to the Lord will be yours. Everyone in your household who is ceremonially clean can eat it. Everything in Israel that is devoted to the Lord is yours. The first offspring of every womb, both human and animal. That is offered to the Lord is yours. But you must redeem every firstborn son and every firstborn male of unclean animals. When you they are a month old, you must redeem that redemption price set at five shekels of silver, according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs twenty giras. But you must not redeem the firstborn of an ox, a sheep, or a goat. Leah or Messi. They are holy. Splash their blood against the altar and burn their fat as food offering, and aroma pleasing to the Lord. Their meat is to be yours, just the rest 
of the wave offering and the red dye are yours. Whatever is set aside from the holy offerings, this represents the Lord I give to you and your sons and daughters as your perpetual share. It is an everlasting covenant of salt before the Lord for your, both you and your offsprings. The Lord said to Aaron, You have no inheritance in the land, nor we have any share among them. I am your share and your inheritance among the Israelites. I give to you all the thieves in Israel. As their inheritance in return for the work they do serving a tenant meeting. From now on, it is not going to attend a meeting with the abandoned content out there. It's done! Sin and will die. It is the Levites who are to do the work at the meeting and bear the responsibility of any offenses they commit against it. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. They will receive no inheritance among the Israelites. Instead, I give to you, Levites, as their inheritance of the thieves. That the Israelites sent an offering to the Lord. That is why I concerning them. They will have no inheritance among the Israelites. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Levi, say to them, When you receive from the Israelites the tithe, I give you as inheritance. You must present a tenth of the tithe as the Lord's offering. Your offering will be reckoned to you as a grain from the threshing flower floor or juice from the wine press. In this way, you also will present an offering to the Lord from the tithe's you receive from Israelites. From these tea days, you must give to the Lord portion of to Aaron's priests. You must present to the Lord portion the best and holiest part of everything you've given to you. Say to the Levites, when you present the best part, it will be reckoned to you as a product of fresh flour or wine breast. You and your households may eat the the rest of it anywhere. For it is the, your wages for the work attend a meeting. By presenting the best part of it, you will not be guilty in this manner. Then you will not defy the holy offerings of the Israelites. And you will not die. Thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure. I am Dr. Double. And this is...